the way I break down my antihypertensive medication, I break it down into the adrenergic receptor antagonism, renal, and then also vasodilatory. So in the adrenergic receptor, uh, we can start with central, or we can break this down into peripheral. So the central, we have methyl dopa, as an example, clonidine, and dexamethotomidine. In the peripheral, we can split this down to alpha, alpha and beta effects, and then beta blockade. And in the beta, we have the non-selective and the cardioselective. In the cardioselective, there are things such as atenolol, esmolol, and metoprolol. And the non-selective, uh, we've got things like propanolol. Now in the alpha and beta, then we have that have both effects labetalol, hence its name. And then we can the alpha can either be alpha one, alpha two, or non-selective. So this can include prazosin. This is your shimbi, your himbi, sorry. And then phen phenoxybenzamine and uh, phentolamine. So if we then move on to the renal, um, we have uh, things that can affect the renin angiotensin aldosterone system uh, and the things that affect the tubules at the kidney. And if we work through the uh, nephron of the kidney, we can think about the osmotic. So mannitol, if we think about the uh, carbonic anhydrase, we've got acetazolamide. If you think about the loop, we've got fruzamide. Then we can think about the thiazides, which include things like the thiazide diuretics. Then we've got the aldosterone antagonists which is spiro, and then we've got the sodium potassium pump, which is a meteoride. If you think about the renin-angiotensin syndrome, we've got the uh, renin-angiotensin aldosterone system. Then we can think about the A2RBs, which is candesartan. And then we've got the ACE inhibitors as well. And they can be split up into several groups, but we will keep it as uh, med uh, medications such as captopril, enalopril, ramipril. If we look at the vasodilatory, these can be split up into calcium channel antagonists, uh, and these can be split up into. Um, more commonly than the ACE inhibitors, but groups one, groups two, and groups three. Group one is the phenyl alkanes, which include verapamil. So these are more cardiac selective. Group two is, is the more vascular, and these are the dihydropyridines. And I think about two and di, and this is uh, nimodipine and nifedipine. And then we have the group three, which is the benzothiazopine, which is diltiazem, which has more equal vascular cardiac action. There is also the potassium, which is nicarandal. And then things that affect the nitrites, which include things like sodium nitroproside, 
as well as isosobo mononitrate. And then we have other things such as sodium nitroprusside and hydralazine and and they're more uh, associated with uh, smooth muscle and nitric oxide. I hope that's been some help.